capitalizing and thinking a bit about supply chains you know i think we've we've been in a period in the past where the supply chains have been um a lot of smaller producers supplying a very small number of very large processors and retailers um, and a model of, of um, really standardization and homogenization. And that was the same, not just in agriculture, but in other industries in the post-war period, there was a lot of this idea that modernization meant everything had to look the same and had to be produced in very large volumes at a very consistent quality. If you look at what's happened now in other industries like automotive, that has changed. You know, we now have, you go into a car sales room and you specify your personalized product. And the logistics is now there to deliver that range of, of diverse products for, for the, the consumer. And I think we need a similar kind of approach in thinking about how, how food production goes going forwards. People want diversity and choice. They want to be able to, to, to choose different things that suit their lifestyles and their values. And um, diversity should be more possible with advanced IT and logistics. So we should be able to um, produce in a more um, dispersed and a more um, diverse way than, than has been sort of sold to the to, to people in the past is the best way to succeed in business is to standardize specialize in large um, you see lots of good examples at a local level of um, businesses which have diversified which have a close connection to their customers to their final consumers and where you're where you're working in that relationship that diversity can be supported so you see a farm that's maybe started as a beef and sheep farm and 20 years down the line because of its farm shop it then has an orchard it does some soft fruit it does some fattening of, of geese and turkeys for christmas market and so forth so it, it, it depends a lot on, on your supply chain, I think, the scope for your ability to reintroduce diversity into a business.